it's not busy, guys, so vote. There's my local bowl. Okay, the university. So everybody get out. Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. And today is November the 6th. And guess what day it is? It's election day. Did you vote? I did. Um, I teased my precinct for many years. I had scrapbooks from the time I was 18 to where I had stickers every time I voted. And I would put in there who I voted for, those kind of things. When we moved here to Pennsylvania for about nine, ten years, no stickers. I kept asking why they didn't have any I voted stickers. And they said to me, well, we don't know. You know, that costs money. And I said, no, they are donated free from the National Election Committee. This is something that is free nationwide. So there's no reason they can't give you this. If they can bust students in and give them pizza parties, they can give you a sticker. That's that's just neither here nor there. Today I have on my shawl. The Tunisian shawl is finished. And here is how it came out. I did some blocking. And this shawl is absolutely finished. And I love it. It came out beautifully. Um, it is a very large shawl. That is simply because the amount of lace that I put into it. And um, I think it looks fantastic that way. The other item that I managed to get finished, which is about time, is the Abstractly Chic Shawl. And I did those in just some browns and whatnot that I had laying around. So... Those are some finished items. The other thing is, there will not be a Tunisian Tuesday this week. I have a commission for a quilt. I'm going to show you a couple of blocks from that quilt. And I ran into a small problem with um, one of the one of the blocks that I wanted to put in. It just was not going to work. Um, I couldn't get the machine to turn it sideways, those kind of things. Finally got it to do what it needed to do because my machine, I can take those designs and turn them 360 degrees. But for some reason, it, when I first started working with it, it just would not work. Um, they wind up calling the guys over at Hoover's to ask them, you know, what's the deal? Am I doing something wrong? And and they gave me some suggestions to do and basically it was my machine was not recognizing that it had the ability to do the 360 we did some things over the phone to get the machine corrected so now the machine is working just perfect and we're getting things done out of that shawl the Tunisian one I used six skeins of well, not quite six. It was five and about a third of the last ball of the everyday um, anti-pilling yarn. I think it's Deborah Norville by Premier. And this weekend I had to get a couple more balls. I needed two. I knew I was going to need one full one and thought I would need a partial. And I did. Needed about, you know maybe two or three hundred yards out of this one. So, um, and of course, Joanne's had a sale. You know what's coming next. Um, acquisitions. Do I need more yarn? No, but Joanne's had a sale. So, of course, these were on sale for $1.99. These were dust doorbusters. 
And then I walked through and I saw these two beautiful skeins. And they are just gorgeous. This is the Minty Magenta Mix. I've never seen that before. They had the Karen Pound, well, Jumbo on, on these because it's not a full pound. I think you only get about 14 ounces. Let me see. 12 ounces. See, you don't even get 14 ounces. Get 12 ounces per ball, so I got two of them. They were on sale for $6.99. And then you had a 25% off coupon on top of that. Yarn. I need yarn. So, um, yeah, that was a little bit of an acquisition. I'm going to toss those over to the side. Because I have a lot more yarn to show you. It's like I went on this binge. I have gotten out, you know, in my uh, amount of yarn out for prayer shawl, those kind of things, baby hats. I have removed three pounds of yarn from my stash and added probably 25. <laughs> you know, hey, what can I say? Um, I did get some more of the cafe latte. Um, I needed that for the uh, deer hats that we're doing for Christmas. We're starting some Christmas hats. And then uh, I have a little bit of an acquisition. Nick Crate. I am doing something in pimento and I needed more. So I got an additional five skeins of the pimento from Nick Crate. <laughs> and that's not including the Nick Crate that will be coming. And then when we were at uh, AC Moore, they had these lovely That Nouveau on sale for $5. So I got another package of this, um, another skein of this, Hank, um, because I want to do a cow for me and a hat and possibly some fingerless gloves. And I knew I could do a cow out of one of these, but I thought with the hat and the fingerless gloves I needed to get another skein since it was on sale for $5.00 got another skein. And then of course when I walked towards the back they had the Isaac Mitzrazzi packages on sale for five dollars. Yep. Got a package. Did I need it? Nope. Did I like the colors? Yep. Five dollars. Got it. And some of the other acquisitions I got there were two notepads. Merry Christmas. And of course my little sugar skulls. And then a um, Happy Halloween haunting. Happy haunting with little cats and bats. Um, I got this because it's a nice... Um, the ribbon is very good for using for project bags so of course I got it and then I did an order this is the bag that I carefully cut away from Hobium well, you know they have some great prices on yarn Nice um, sale on the shipping. And I wanted to make another hat for me in the Tango. And this is a chunky yarn. And it is all acrylic in cream. So I got one of those. Right. 
Russell, Russell, Russell. Russell. I got five of the... Oh, there's my little label. Of the car... Card Topu in the Cozy Wool Sport prints. thought that was really pretty. So I did get five of these. They did not have the the, set, the sets of five that you can purchase for a little bit cheaper price. But that's okay. So I got that. And then I got some more of the Tango in a Chunky Gray. And they did have the pack for that. And I think it was 8 or $9 for five of them. And of course the shipping was $10 this past weekend. I had ordered them Thursday. It shipped Friday morning. And just because of the weekend, I didn't get it until Monday. And of course, you know, they send you their little stickers. And a um, pom-pom maker. Which is basically the old-fashioned way we used to make pom-poms. Little handmade sticker. And then, of course, the 15% off coupon for your next order. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm going to be ordering. It was a good deal. And uh, I would like to try the La Mia wool yarn. And um, for everything I see, it's an excellent price. It sells out so quick that you have to be right there online when it uh, comes up. Otherwise, you're just out of luck. Um, those are some acquisitions. A lot of this show is just acquisitions. Like I said, there won't be a Tunisian Tuesday this week. I did start my raglan. And this is what I have chosen to do my raglan in. in that pimento. Sorry about hitting the microphone. And I really like the way that the color um, just fades and goes in and out of the different colors between the orange and the reddish. And I don't really care for orange normally, but this is such a beautiful color that um, I decided to make my raglan sweater out of this and I am doing a true raglan which is working from the top down and yeah I do plan on doing some things into the neckline after I'm finished with getting it down and once this gets down long enough for my sleeves to meet under the arm then I will do the torso I am using a half double crochet stitch I do like the, and I'm using an H hook. I had debated about whether making this very close knit, um, since it is a wool cashmere, I think silk blend, and I decided against that. So I'm using the half double crochet, and it is a little bit open. I think you can see that, and I'll just wear a tank top or a. Um, camisole underneath. I tend to run a little hot, so I figured I'm not going to be able to manage wearing a sweater like that for too long. I'll be able to wear it for a little bit, and then it's probably going to have to come off unless it's exceptionally cold outside. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to this week. Not a whole lot of finished items. Like I said, I've been having to work on some things. I've been working on the uh, quilt. I do have, I believe, six more blocks that I need to make for that. The rest of it is ready to go. Um, the only thing is I need to 
get those blocks finished so I can place them. And I think you can tell that that is a um, Auburn University quilt and it is done for a fan. It is going to be a Christmas present. I'm not telling you anything that the fan is going to see because the fan does not watch uh, crochet or knit podcast. So I think I'm pretty safe by showing that. And um, after Christmas, I do plan on showing you a picture of the finished quilt because it is going to be the navy blue and the orange and then it'll have some auburn fabrics in it. And um, what I have put as a mock-up, the person who ordered it loves it. Um, he did not want... I had a little more auburn fabric in there, which is, you know, it's the university um, logos and those kind of things in it. He didn't want as much as I was putting in it, so we changed some things up. And yeah, that that's almost finished with the exception of those other blocks. Uh, there are a total of 14 or 15 blocks that are embroidered, and then the rest is basically a plain plain Jane, but um, I think it, I think once we, it's finished it'll, it'll turn out really nice and I will show that most likely after Christmas a photo of that. I think that's about it for today. It's going to be a nice short episode and if you haven't been out to vote, get out and vote. That is one of your privileges and rights of being an American citizen. Go for it. Do it. Vote. Alright, remember, you need to choose to be kind. And I'm going to say need to choose to be kind. Because lately there's been an awful lot of ugliness out there. So uh, let's be a little kinder to one another. Alright, I'll see you again next week. Bye.